battle between the Pistons and the Bulls ends with a Chicago win. The Bulls able to shoot it straight almost from the get-go. And their stars stepped up. They win the ball game. 126 to 108. Gregory, I like the Pistons' grit as they were able to keep it close enough to give themselves a shot down the stretch. But this Chicago team still missing their point guard, Lonzo Ball. You know how good they could be with Ball, but they're still, on most nights, pretty darn good without him. Well, you know, anytime the Bulls can bring and get the production they got from DeRozan, Vucevic, and Levine, it's just going to be very difficult, and that was the case for the Pistons. I, too, give them a lot of credit for, you know, fighting, 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 trying to give themselves a chance at the end. But Chicago's got three very good players, folks. Very, very good players. All-star caliber, and they were on tonight. And their role players played pretty darn well as well. Derrick Jones Jr. with all those dynamite dunks and excellent defense from Alex Caruso. And Patrick Williams is coming on for the Bulls as well. As for the Pistons, I thought a solid game from Sadiq Bey. Another excellent outing for Boyan Bogdanovich. And we're seeing Jaden Ivey's numbers go up and up and up. And Hamadou Diallo keeps on trucking with 17 off the bench. Gregory, it's been a great experience over here. First the Eiffel Tower, and then the Opera House in Paris, and then the U.S. Embassy. We, were, we were treated royally. What a week. What a fantastic week. And I know these young Pistons learned a lot by being here. I know they would have loved to have gotten a, a victory against the Bulls. They played about as tough as they could, considering all the shots the Chicago Stars were making. So for Special K and our crew, especially Brady Klima, our stage manager here courtside at the Accor Arena, I'm George Blaha. Thanks so much for joining us. The Pistons fall to Chicago in the Paris game, 126 to 108.